How to Inspire Hope One day, a father and son were out walking, both enjoying a bright summer day together. The father smiled and listened attentively to the young. As they walked, they saw a car parked along the side of the road. A woman got out and began struggling with a stroller that she pulled out of the trunk of her car. As she fought the cumbersome object, she dropped her wallet without noticing. Once she was finished, she placed her child in it and went into her home. Confused, the young boy pointed this out to his father. Hey dad, that lady dropped her wallet over there. You're right. She was so busy that she didn't notice. Swiftly, the man scooped up the wallet. Wait here a moment. I'll be right back. Quickly, the boy's father ran up to the woman's house and slipped the wallet through the mail slot in the front door. Then, just as quickly, ran back to his son. Okay, let's keep going. As they walked away, the boy wondered why his father didn't just knock on the door and let the woman know that he had found her wallet. But as they continued to walk, he forgot to ask why. Time passed, and the boy grew into a young man and was preparing to go away for school. He was excited to go out into the world and learn what his place would be in it. He had recently purchased a car and thought of no better way to commemorate his upcoming journey than to go for a drive with his father. His father agreed, and so they drove down the streets of the city, winding their way along the paths that they would usually walk. Memories came flooding back to the young man as he saw the house where the woman, years ago, had lost her wallet. The thought that had pushed to the back of his mind came flooding back and swirled around in his head. As they drove around, the two of them became thirsty, so the father offered to buy them a coffee. Carefully, the young man drove up to the order window, and as the two passed by the front of the restaurant, the father craned his neck to see the people inside. Once they were up to the ordering booth, the father motioned to let him speak. Hello, can I take your order? The cheerful attendant announced. Hello there, I have an odd request. But can we have two coffees and two dozen donuts? But instead of giving us the donuts, could you please deliver them to the group of children out front? After a bit of confusion, the attendant agreed. The young man noticed that his father gave her a large tip for agreeing to his odd request. After they got their coffees, the men pulled out of the parking lot and back onto the main road. Looking back, the young man could see the attendant come out to the dining area and deliver the pastries. He now saw that the children were a scout troop and were cheering and jumping up and down excitedly. The son looked at his father and asked, Dad, over the years, you've done things like that all the time. Like what? Like good deeds for people, but you never let them give you praise. Why? Well, it's like this. Let's say that you walked out to your car and found the front windshield broken. You look around and while there's lots of people on the street, there's no way you can tell who did it. I don't understand the connection. I'll explain. Everyone that you see could be the person that broke your window. Therefore, everyone could be the culprit. It reduces your faith in your fellow man. Now on the reverse, if you lost something, and someone returned it to you, but you don't know who it was, then, therefore, everyone around you could be the one that did the good deed. It gives you faith in your fellow man. Everyone could potentially be a good person. You should always do the good deed, not for the reward, but for the fact that it makes the world a little bit better. Finally, the young man understood. Thinking back, he realized that they had perhaps inspired faith in the people that they had helped, and that filled his heart with joy. In life, it can be easy to lose track of what matters. It can be easy to focus on the bad things that happen or the negativity. Sometimes we need to be reminded that we are all human and that we are all traveling through this life together. May we all travel together peacefully. This is Everyday Motivation Stories. 
Thank you so much for watching and for keeping you on the fight.